What's going on guys, Vic BP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today we have a unique hyperspin build on an external hard drive being sent out. Uh, so long story short, this goes out to an Instagram person called Principal C. A uh, really cool guy I've been talking to for the past couple of months. He actually purchased a Touch Edition hard drive from me. I've hooked him up a lot of stuff with the files and stuff. He's got a, a pinball um, setup that I sent him. Not my personal setup. It's somebody else's. And he just doesn't have the internet speed to download it. So I hooked him up with that. We actually help each other out and basically talk about our personal pinball drives. And basically he hit me up and said, Hey Vic, I'm looking for a unique hyperswim build. Mostly looking at Nintendo Switch, the Switchware, the Wii U, and the Nintendo Wii. Um, so basically this is a tutorial for him. Um, I've done a couple of these, you know, external hard drives going out. It's never plug and play. Keep that in mind. There's going to be a couple things you have to do, which not a lot of people like to, you know, show or explain because it takes time. But for you, buddy, we are going to go through it. And if anybody, you know, is ever interested in it. Um, so the big thing, number one was, uh, again, he wanted the Nintendo Switch stuff, uh, first and foremost. And again, keep in mind. Nintendo Switch, you do need a pretty good PC, let alone we are using external hard drives. Uh, Nintendo Switch alone was about three and a half terabytes. Um, that was another little thing that we were talking about. He didn't want to use external hard drives that required power, um, meaning like an actual power adapter. So basically the highest terabyte that we could find was a five terabyte drive. So he sent me a five terabyte Seagate drive. And basically, I tried to fill it up as much as I could. Um, main things that he did want, the Nintendo Switch. And then basically, for filler, I took the Wii U and the Nintendo Wii. And I put, like, the most important games, um, you know, really Mario stuff to it that is really, you know, signature games to that system. So, um, just real quick, uh, we'll go through it real quick. So, for the, um, again, this is the wheel here. It's totally custom, how to sit down, kind of redo it and all. Um, there's really only four systems. So you got your Nintendo Switch and the Switchware. Again, that added up to 3.5 terabytes alone. Then you got Nintendo Wii and we have the Wii U. So the big thing was like the Nintendo Switch, I left the themes, which isn't much. And I left like the video files, which isn't much. As you can see, it's not really video files, they're picture files. So... Luckily, the way it's set up, it's very easy. Picture files do not take up a lot of hard drive space, so that's fine. The only big thing is that the Nintendo Wii and the Wii U, I basically just have the logo. Because, again, artwork, hyperspin files, media files, that takes up space. We wanted more games over media, like I've always said in even my past videos. Um, so, again, hooked them up with the main games. You got Mario Party. Um, you know, new Super Mario Bros. Um, I think on the Wii U, Super Mario Galaxy definitely for the Wii. The Wii U, like we got Super Mario 3D World and such. So again, hook them up with the main stuff that, you know, it's really signature games. Um, so real quick, let's go into tutorial and just understand what we need to do. So first and foremost, you're going to plug in the hard drive. And it's very important to have this as your R. Set up to R because he has a couple hard drives. I just picked a random letter. I didn't want to go to like D or E. I just went to R. So first thing is when you do plug it in, you're going to want to make sure that your hard drive is under the R. Um, if not, you simply just go to your search bar and you look up disk management. And you'll see here, create and format hard disk partitions. And you'll basically click on the Seagate, right click on it, change your drive letter, and make sure that that says R. First thing, you have to make sure that it says R because all the directories are set up accordingly. Now, there's not really much to do that's difficult. Um, there is two things that you need to do. We do have to set up Yuzu, um, which is the Nintendo Switch emulator, and we have to set up Dolphin. Um, so first thing is, once you plug it in, it's going to look just like this. And again, Principal C, just for you because you did request it, I do have the NBA Jam Xbox Live Arcade file separate, so you could kind of cut that and paste that. It's not in my Hyperspin build. 
for you. So it's just there because you needed the file. So I hooked it up for you. Um, again, first thing, let's look at the Yuzu app because that's going to be the one that's maybe not too time consuming, but it is a couple steps to do. So the big thing is you're going to go into the arcade folder. You're going to go into hyperspin and you're going to go into emulator. Once you're in emulator, you can see that there, we do have three emulators. Semu is Wii U. Dolphin is the Wii. Yuzu is Nintendo Switch. You're going to click on Yuzu. And you're actually going to double click this maintenance tool. Now, on your PC, because you don't have Yuzu, it might tell you to install. Um, on this PC, I already had it. Um, if you do get this kind of setup, though, all you got to do is you just got to press modify. And for me, I don't use the early access. Uncheck that. I always use the regular user. So as you can see, it is installed for me here. You either press install here or modify. And it's going to do a whole thing about this bar. The bar is going to download and all that. So just let it do its thing. Um, I'm going to just take my webcam away just to show you exactly what I'm doing. Basically, again, how my Windows 10 is set up. Um, you know, I do have the search bar here. Also, real quick, but he already knows it. Be sure that you do have your Windows Defender um, off, totally, you know, off and such. It might remove something, so just be sure you have that off. If you go here and you type in YUZU, you should now see the actual program here. Again, I don't personally download the early access one. Stay away from that one. I'm not a fan of it. I just like to keep the regular Yuzu. You're going to launch this Yuzu. And this is the only thing. It's nothing crazy. It's just something that you have to do because this emulator does go to like your C drive, I guess, and it reads off of it. So you're going to see Yuzu kind of loads up here. Follow the steps. This is a must. You're going to go into file. It's, it's not going to look like this for you when you first get it. You're going to get like a little pop-up, something about like if you want to send information to Yuzu to help services, just press no on that. This is going to be blank. Basically, all you have to do is you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Open Yuzu Folder. This is a must. You have to do this step, okay? Yours will not look like mine, how it is currently. You'll be missing a couple of folders. That's okay. Just put the, the window here to the side. You're going to go back to our, basically, Emulators Yuzu, where we did the install. You're going to double-click this Canary. You're going to double-click User. and you're going to just take basically those files. The number one and two, you don't have to push, put it to your C drive. It's my backup, so you don't have to do that. So basically, you're going to do from cache to system data. You're literally going to copy it, and you are going to go to where we opened up this, the roaming. This is from Yuzu. Right-click, paste it. It's going to take maybe about 10 minutes. Um, it's got a couple of NCA files that need to be there. It's basically your keys and all that. Once it's done, Yuzu is set and ready to go. Um, just to be safe, because you do have Yuzu open, um, go into emulation, configure, and you can then set up your controls. Um, you could do custom. That's how I have it on my bar tops. And basically, you could set up your pro controllers and all that. So you could set it up whichever way you want. That's the thing about these emulators is that the control pad doesn't just simply copy and paste over. So this right now is basically using keyboard commands. You could use an Xbox controller. Just have your Xbox controller on, click the button, and then press whatever button you want on the Xbox controller, and it should work. It's pretty basic stuff from there. The only big thing, again, with Yuzu is to be sure that you go to the Yuzu folder and then paste what I had. That was it. Because that has the key files and all that. That's honestly it as far as Yuzu. The last one real quick. Well, we're going to run through the emulators real quick. Launch the Semu. So go into Semu folder and launch Semu. Same thing happens with this. It kind of puts something inside of your C drive. You need it. If you don't launch Semu and you launch Hyperspin, it's going to give you an INI file error. Just launch it. It's just real quick. It's very simple. Um, while you're here, you could probably look up the input settings, and you could basically fix it. On this one here, it looks like it read my um, Xbox controller. So you should be A-OK -okay with that. Um, you shouldn't have to touch this. As you can see, it's already set. 
um, that's fine. Last one we're going to do is dolphin. Double click on dolphin, dolphin, and you'll basically do the controller. So dolphin is a GameCube emulator, but we're looking at the Wiimote. Press configure, and as you can see, this did not copy over on mine. Um, again, I have Xbox controllers. You basically want to just go down the list and do it. Um, I'll personally message you as far as the swing and the tilt and the nunchuck configuration. Um, I forgot what I had it set to. Either this stick is your left analog stick or the right. I don't remember right now, but I'll message it to you. No worries. And that's honestly the only main thing that you have to do. Before you launch Hyperspin, let's launch basically Rocket Launcher. So I'm going to go back basically from when you plug it in, go to Arcade, and then you do have Rocket Launcher UI. Double click it, let it load up. And basically, we're just going to launch um, a random game. So, for example, if you do Nintendo Wii, um, you want to make sure you're on the Games tab here. Press the little blue Play button. It's going to locate the games that we have. And for now, we'll just launch Super Mario Galaxy. Click on the game you want, and then just hit the red rocket. And there you have it. So this is perfect. As far as within Hyperspin, um, this does launch Joy to Key. And if you are using an Xbox controller, um, Xbox logo is set to exit. Escape key, I should say. So you don't need a keyboard. It's just like how I always set up all my drives. You could basically use the Xbox controller. And the game launched. There you go. So I'm going to just hit escape. Um, depending on your PC, like we just did um, Nintendo Wii, um, you could play around with it, but you could go into the emulator for Dolphin and do a, a YouTube search. And basically, you could play around with like the graphics. Um, like if you did anti scoping at like eight times, it'll push like 1080p. You have to play with that because I don't know what kind of PC you're running. Give it a whirl and such. Um, you could go into like the Wii U now. Same thing, blue button. These will be red. Don't worry about that. They'll definitely have the files. It's just how Hyperspin is set up. Like if I look up Super Mario 3D World, I hit the red rocket. Loading complete. And boom. And we right now are launching these games off of an external hard drive. Um, external hard drives, again, some of them are good, some of them are bad. You do want to keep in mind about hard drives that have the 7200 RPMs as they will be faster. And some are more, you know, better like that. But as you can see, we right now are able to launch games and such. Um, you can check the Switch. You know, you can do that real quick. Um, again, keep in mind that Nintendo Switch games, not all of them may not work. Just keep that in mind. That was a big thing. Um, let's launch a new one, which was Animal Crossing. And again, I'm right now actually running this on my Dell Optiplex. Um, again, I just don't have my Xbox controllers. I don't have the dongle set up for it and stuff. So I'm not going to be able to test the controller on it. But as you can see right now, like for Yuzu, um, the red rocket is launching. Just let it do its thing. And as you'll see, it will launch. I do notice, again, like this here compared to like Eugene Beast of a PC, though, um, we do have some speed and stuff. But again, I am using my Dell Optiplex on this. So still playing around with it. But the big thing is that you do have at least the main files and stuff. And you basically let it do its thing. We're going to basically wait until we see the little island floating around and stuff. And it's cool, you know, for some people to see this. I don't really want to cut it. This is something that, you know, you have to witness and see. This is what happens with external hard drives, depending on the PC. I'm using an i5 16 gigs Dell Optiplex, so I'm not too sure if it's launching slow because of my PC or because it's an external hard drive. We don't know, but at least you can see we have the little island and stuff for Animal Crossing, and that's loading up. And honestly, that is it. We test ran everything. Nintendo Switchware is using Yuzu, so we don't have to test that. We know that it works. Big thing is if you go into your hard drive, you have the Hyperspin shortcut. 
double click on that, and basically it will launch up Hyperspin. There we go. And I'm going to use my keyboard for now. Again, it is set up for the Xbox controllers, so if you have it on, you will be able to navigate and such. So if I click on Nintendo Wii, we'll load up um, Super Mario Galaxy 2. You press enter or you hold down A. Loading complete. And it launches real quick. I just noticed it though. I have to remove <laughs> Eugene's artwork in the background, but that's a quick little file change. That's nothing crazy. Um, but other than that, there you have it. This is an external hard drive set up quick and easy. Just want to show it real quick <laughs> so people don't get confused. I just removed the uh, background artwork. So if you load up a game now, there's no more Eugene's <laughs> arcade on that. So again, there you guys have it. Big BP Game Case Arcade external hard drive going out.